So if you need to migrate a site or restore one that's been corrupted or you just want to clone one over, uh, Backup Buddy is what I tend to use for all my customers. Now, it is a paid application and as long as you're not on junky hosting, let's say like GoDaddy, it tends to work really well. The issue a lot of people have is it's a little bit difficult to uh, do the actual restoration and it throws people off and they end up kind of giving up on it. So today I thought I would walk you through. Uh, I have built this kind of dummy site here that has just kind of all kinds of information here um, just to show you how to go about migrating or restoring a site using Backup Buddy. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to come into the back end here, right? We're going to add in backup buddy because we need to upload it and backup buddy there and we're going to install that now we want to activate the package activate the plugin and it's here. So licensing might already be done. Yep, that's already done because I had done this before. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to Backup Buddy and we're going to actually click this Backup button. Now, the first time you come in here, it's gonna want you to kind of uh, set things up and I just tell it to skip and we wanna do a complete backup. I'll be perfectly honest, I have quite I haven't quite figured out why you would only want a database backup because it seems to do a full restore. You need the complete backup. So I'm going to go ahead and complete this backup. And this takes a few minutes to run through depending on how quick your server is, how big your site is. Uh, this one actually quite small. I think it's like 20 megabytes. So let's go ahead and wait for it to run through this. Okay, it is finished backing up. You can see it's about a little under 22 megabytes in size. And now we're ready to use this to either restore or to migrate or clone the site. So in this case here, we're gonna clone it here over to this URL right here. So first thing we need to do is come over to restore and migrate. And we need to download this importbuddy.php. And this is this is the little application that will actually take this backup and migrate it over. So first thing is download that. And it, it's gonna ask for a password. And it can be any simple one. So I'm just gonna do one, two, three, four. And we're gonna save that. And then we also wanna download the actual backup here. And uh, if you're using Stash or Offsite Backup, you can actually, when you're doing your backup, can also use those as well. But this is just easy for me to download and save that, and I'll show you why. And so that's done. So now, now that we have the import buddy and our backup file ready to use, we wanna come over to our cPanel file manager, right? In the cPanel file manager, uh, it'll be a little bit different if you're using Plesk. Um, it'll be a little bit different. Well, if you're using GoDaddy, don't even bother. Um, but you need to do two things here. So first thing we need to do is we need to come over to the file manager, right? And the file manager will show everything that's in, in this case here, public HTML, right? Which there is nothing. If, for example, you had WordPress installed in here already, you would need to um, delete all of those files here and just leave the CGI bin. Uh, but what we want to do is we actually want to upload both the import buddy and the backup. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to add this in. And I'm also going to add in the backup at the same time. And this will depend on how quick your upload speed is from your internet provider. Okay, that's done. We can come back here. And what you'll see is, 
we have both import buddy, PHP, and the backup. Now, before we go on, we need to do one other thing. And this is what kind of trips people up a little bit is we need to create a database. And so you can see on my screen here, we have four areas in the database. And this will tell you all your SQL databases. This is the an admin area. Um, I don't even use this one, but essentially we want to use this database wizard. So in this case here, you could just type in SQL and it'll bring these down. We want to come to the database wizard. Now, what we need to do is we need to keep track of this. So I'm going to use uh, a, a, a text edit page to keep track of it. So we're going to create a database. So in this case here, we're going to call it uh, hero1234. And so we need to hero1234. And we need to use a username. So I'm going to use hero1. And we're going to use a password. And so this case here is going to be uh, DS hero1234. DS hero1234. And the stronger you can do it, the better. I'm just, for, for these purposes, I just want to show you how it's done. And we create a user, right? And I just, to start out with, I just give all privileges because I'll use iTheme security to kind of fix this later on. And we have it. We now have our databases. So if you want to come over here to SQL and we can look at the databases, you can see we have our database that has nothing in it right now. And that's great. Now. Now that we have the files added, now that we have a database, now it's time to actually do the import. So what we can do here is we can do one of two things. We can either you know, do the domain, you can see it's right here, and you can either just type in or just click the button there and it's gonna bring it up. Now. As you can see, we already have a backup uploaded. If you're using Stash or Staff Lives, uh, Stash Live, you can pull it in here or you can upload a different backup. So we're just gonna use the one we, we uploaded and we're gonna click Restore Backup. And this will bring us to this screen here. And Remember the database we just set up? We need to move this information over. Now, one of the mistakes I first made when I first used this is I just did this. And because these databases were all within like my same shared server, it screwed everything up. Don't wanna do it. So the only thing you wanna keep the same is the local host. If your host does it a little bit different, then they'll tell you what, the, what, the, uh, what this needs to be. But essentially we're gonna copy everything over, which is, and the user, and the password. And then for a prefix, you can use anything. So if we use WP, DS, and an underscore, you need to have that little underscore there. And we'll click next step. When we click next step, the first thing it's do is gonna make sure that you that these are the correct uh, the correct things that you wrote down. And if not, you'll have to fix those. So we click next step. Yep, I had all the correct passwords and usernames in there. And now we have, it wants to kind of switch it over here. And so I also click this optional to make sure that it uh, it changes both of these and you can see it's at this subdomain it's going to be at this new domain so uh, this looks perfectly fine to me i'm going to click next step um it's done it's important so what it's telling you to do is it wants to make sure that it looks okay let's go ahead and finish the cleanup
Okay, so now that it's ready, what happens sometimes is uh, the home page will work just fine and then you click over here and you'll get like a 500 server error. And what you need to do, first thing you need to do is you need to log in. And make sure you come over your permalinks and make sure that you save as post name. Because sometimes it, it throws off a weird error. But if we come back here now to visit the site, Deem, Case Study, About Us, Contact Us. And as you can see, the site is complete. So hopefully you found this useful. Um, and if you want to use Backup Buddy, I have a link below. I think it's a great way for your customers and to really keep uh, full database uh, backups for your site. Highly recommend it. It works with a lot larger sites as well. And uh, any questions, go ahead and leave a comment below. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next video.